What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about how to use proxy components to speed up your model. So this is something that we're going to use a lot when we work with landscapes and plants and high polygon type things in our models. Um, before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I put together um, to basically give you a start to finish training on how to use SketchUp. So everything from the basic tools in SketchUp all the way through advanced applications like modeling for interior design and layout and also photorealistic rendering. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want to check that out, make sure you check out the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have had this happen before where you start bringing things into your model and all of a sudden, especially if you're using really high polygon, if you're using really high polygon models, then uh, your model really starts to slow down. And part of the reason for that is if you look at like these trees, for example, these trees are very detailed. And if I was to come in here and go into my styles section and turn profiles on, you can see how each one of these leaves is very detailed and you can tell how this is taking a long time for this to render. And so a lot of the time, you want these in here as high polygon models so that this will look more realistic, but you don't necessarily want them in here until you're finalizing your views. And so what you can do is you can use what's called proxy components in order to kind of represent these without having to actually without having to actually show all of this geometry. So first of all, credit for this model is Farnsworth House by Kurt M. And then the trees are models that I've brought in using the extension Scatter. And Scatter actually has its own functions for working with proxy components, but I also thought that these would be this would be a good example because these trees are so high polygon. And so right now, if you were to go up to Window, Model Info, and you were to look at the number of edges and faces in this model, you can see that there's a ridiculous number of edges and faces. So there's over 4 million faces in this model right now, as well as a ton of different edges. And so if I was to rotate around in here, you can see how that's basically because of all of these trees, these super high polygon trees. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're going to use proxy components in order to swap these out in our model until we actually need them. And so in order to do this, you can see that I have three different kinds of trees in here. So I have three different scatter components and you can see that by going into the components section, clicking the drop down and selecting in model. And so what I want to do, whoops, what I want to do is I want to replace these temporarily with a different kind of model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, 3D Warehouse, and we're actually going to go into the 3D Warehouse and we're going to pull down some trees. And so in this case, what I want to look for is I want to look for a collection from SketchUp of 2D trees. So I'm just going to type in 2D trees. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to go into the author section and we're going to enter the author name, which is SketchUp. That's going to allow us to find this collection. And so in this case, we also probably want to look for collections. But you can see how there's a series of 2D trees in here. I'm going to go to this Trees 2D 2015. And so you can see how this is a collection from SketchUp of 2D Face Me components. And we want 2D components because they're very lightweight from a geometry standpoint. And so what I want to do is I want to bring a couple of these into my model. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a 2D schematic walnut tree in here. And it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Right now I'm just bringing this into my model is all that I'm doing. So and then I'm going to get two more. So I'm going to pull down maybe this 2D mulberry tree. And you can pull down whatever you want. You're basically just looking for something that's low polygon. So it's not going to slow your, uh, slow your model down. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this 2D schematic oak tree in here. And so probably what I'm going to do on this one, because it's so big, is I'm going to go inside the component. And I'm going to scale it down so it's a little bit shorter. Um, I don't want a super tall tree blocking my view. But basically what we're going to do now is we're going to replace these, sc these scatter trees with these 2D schematic trees. And so what, we're what these are is these are proxy objects. And so what we're going to do is come in here and we're going to find our first scatter tree 
in the components section of our tray. So go to the components section of your tray, click the drop down, and go to in model. So in this case, all of my trees were in a group. So I'm probably going to need to explode that group for this to work properly. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to explode my trees group so that they're in here as individual geometry. So now I can select each one of them individually. Well, we're going to find this first scatter tree. We're going to right click on it. We're going to click select instances. And so what that's going to do is that's going to select all of the different instances with these trees in it. So you can see how all of these are copies of the same component. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace those. So we're going to come in and right click on one of our 2D proxy objects. And we're going to click replace selected. And so what that's going to do is that's going to swap out those high polygon trees for these low polygon 2D trees. So I can do the same thing over here. I can right click on this tree do select instances and then replace that with my 2D oak tree. Then I can do the same thing on the last one. So select instances, then right click and do a replace selected. So now you can see how I have all of these trees in here and these indicate to me where my trees are gonna be. So this is an indicator. These are in here as a proxy or as a temporary replacement. And so now if you go up to your window model info, you can see how I'm down to about 133,000 faces instead of 9 million faces or whatever that number was. So what this does is this allows you to come in here and work in your model without having all of that extra geometry really slowing everything down. And then once you get all your views set up, you kind of get this the way you want it to be. So let's say for example that I wanted this view right here saved then I could wait until the very last minute and then all I have to do is just come back in here and just select these. So select instances and then replace them with my actual geometry. So you can see how in that way I can swap out my high and low polygon trees really quickly to really increase the performance within my model. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you been using proxy components? Did you find this to be a helpful tip? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.